the circle. Guy's not lined up. He can't overlap feet on a jump ball. Our officials tonight, Jay Maxwell, Chase Shaw, and Brent Hampton. And the opening tip controlled by Jemison and the Blazers. And here we go from Boca Raton. UAB, one of the highest scoring teams in the country, 89 points a game. This is Walker. Jordan launches the three. That's long. Rebound Buffin tries to lay it up. And we have an offensive foul. Good job there by Gaffney. But we're going to see a lot of three-pointers hoisted up by Walker. 60% of his work comes from beyond the three-point arc. He is not afraid at all, as we saw there, to let it go. First foul on K.J. Buffin, 6'8 senior from Gainesville, Georgia. A lot of seniors on this UAB squad, Jacob. And this is an unbelievable stat. They are, to the best of UAB's knowledge, the only team in the country that has five active 1,000-point scores. Wow, that's a lot of offense to go around here. Expect like a lot of points in this matchup, averaging over 80 points per ball game. And both two teams, you have the number nine, number 10 team in terms of uh, scoring margin. So it's going to be an electric matchup here today. So there is the lineup for the Owls. Boyd, Greenlee, Gaffney, the guards. Weatherspoon forward. Golden all alone underneath. Good job by the big man getting open there, rolling off his man. Wide open layup opportunity. Perfectly executed pick and roll by the Owls. For UAB going to be Brewer, Gaines, Buffin, Ty Brewer number 15, Trey Jamison gets the bucket and the foul on Golden. Those are two large human beings that are going to be back and forth this entire game. Black Golden got to do a better job there, keeping his feet planted, not letting those arms reach over. So both big guys have early fouls, although UAB going with both bigs right now, Buffin at 6'8", and Jamison at 6'11". And just like that, Giancarlo Rosado checks in, replacing Vlad Golden, who has an early basket and an early foul. And we'll see a lot of rotation here from the Owls. Two leading scorers, Elijah Mart and Michael Forrest, starting on the bench. But Dusty May rotates this team around a lot. Jamison, a 59% shooter from the line. And we have a lane violation. And it'll go against Weatherspoon, so... Jemison will get another crack at it. Jemison's very frustrated on his free throw performance so far this season. We were watching warm-ups, and he even spent a majority of the time just shooting free throws. And trying to complete the three-point play, and does, given a second opportunity. 3-2 UAB, and they'll show pressure in the backcourt. So Jalen Gaffney, the transfer from UConn. Boy to Rosado. Hands back to Boyd, lock and load on the three, and he hits Nick Boyd. Second straight score by the Owls there off of the screen. Good job by Rosado getting the other side of the defender. Nick Boyd can bring there on the three. Dusty Maven trusting this redshirt freshman a lot this season. Ty Brewer, his brother Ladarius, wears number two. He'll be in the game at some point. Good look down low by Jemison, but the pass was in the feet of Buffett. Ryan Greenlee for the Owls. Hits Rosado in the lane. Rosado looking for options, and he traveled. Three-second violation, actually, is the call, although he did travel after, as the whistle was being blown. One call or another. Not sure why Rosado didn't go up there. We saw FAU again going to the pick and roll, and he had opportunity there. The left-handed shooter there. Could have went up with the right. Obviously not check elected to do so. And he had an open 12-footer to start with and kind of dribbled himself into a bad situation. Game. Buffin finds Brewer. Now, here's the big guy, Jemison. Trying to back in against Rosado. Jemison with a hook. That won't go. Offensive rebound, and we have a whistle and an off offensive foul against UAB. Their second. Actually, they gave the foul on Ty Brewer. Davis misses the first. There's going to be a lot of points to be had today. Free throws are a must for FAU. The two teams, UAB averaging 86.6 per ball game. FAU not too far behind, 78.5 as the second free throw is good. So it's a 6-3 game in favor of the Owls. And they'll get the basketball after the flagrant one. Now they changed the foul. It was as I suspected on Buffin. They had put it on the scoreboard as Brewer, but they changed it now to Buffin. So I trusted the scoreboard and... That wasn't a good move by me. Yeah, we've had a little bit of experience that we're uh, not the most trustworthy, unfortunately. Here's the Owls in the black Paradise uniforms. 
Gaffney hands to Boyd. Boyd thought about a three. Finds Davis. Looking for Rosado. Doesn't have him down low. Greenlee with 10 to shoot. Greenlee double team. Davis, good pump fake. Gets into the lane. Boyd will have to fire a triple as the shot clock expires. Offensive rebound, Rosado. Greenlee with a triple. He was fouled. I was just getting ready to say great defensive possession there, but Greenlee getting fouled on the three-point opportunity going to the free throw line. It looks like just got a little bit of contact there on the forearm. So that foul will go against Jordan Walker, the top scorer in the country at 25 a game. And Brian Greenlee will go to the line, the six-foot junior from Gainesville, Florida. He'll have three free throws. Greenlee at 81% from the line on the season, but the Owls have missed two early free throws. And as you mentioned, Jacob, you can't afford, if you're FAU, to leave many points on the table. Yeah, absolutely not. This is a big game. We see here by the crowd, the amount of people that showed up here today. It's the biggest matchup so far of both teams. First, or sorry, the third conference game here for FAU, the fourth for the Blazers. Sole possession of Conference USA here on the line. UAB averaging almost 87 points a game as Greenlee hits two out of three. His first two points. They are six in the country in scoring per game. Eric Gaines on the handle. Now Ephraim Johnson into the game for the first time wearing number 24. Jordan Walker pulls up for a triple. No good. And the rebound to Greenlee. Walker almost impossible to guard there at the three-point line. Doesn't step foot inside the three-point line a lot. Most of the shots come from beyond the arc. He's going to have a lot of those today. Davis lock and load on a triple on target for John L. Davis. But FAU can shoot two there. Janelle Davis getting his first points on the board. And it's 11-3 Owls. Ty Brewer on the handoff to Walker. Walker being guarded by Davis. Now Gaines. Brewer, Gaines. And he's fouled by Gaffney. Yeah, Gaffney trying to shuffle the beat there to get in front of Gaines. Didn't get quite set there. Earlier on in the game, did a great job setting his feet underneath, taking the charge. Pick up first personal foul there, coming out for Elijah Martin. There's Elijah, number 15. And as we mentioned, the Owls, one of the top teams in the country in bench scoring, and that's due in large part to the fact that Dusty May has been using Martin and Michael Forrest off the bench in the early going as Ty Brewer hits the short jumper in the lane. Yeah, very interesting philosophy there. Your two top scorers coming off the bench, something we don't see a lot. Elijah Martin is a very explosive player, so it makes sense, you know, a very six-man type player where he's going to come out and have a lot of quick bursts. As we see there, he's trying to hit Rosado down low, going out of bounds there. Elijah Martin truly does his best work in transition. He is so streaky and a very athletic, great athletic finishes when he's able to get in transition. Turnover for the Owls. UAB trying to cut into a six-point FAU lead here in the early going. Johnson. Kicking violation. We'll put 20 on the shot clock. And we'll have our first time out with exactly 16 minutes remaining here in the first half. So FAU with some good early shooting. They've hit three of their first four, including two of three from beyond the arc. Two seasons they've combined for 27 conference wins. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense out of the conference champs. It was a very competitive game last year, quarterfinal of the Conference USA Tournament. UAB winning that 80-66 as we see a three-pointer up and another one missed by Walker. Did a great job with the pump fake to clear his shot, but couldn't knock it down, and Walker is now 0 for 3. That's something we pointed out at the top of the show. FAU 13th in the country, 28% allowed from beyond the arc. Something's going to have to give between these two. An electric shooter on one side and an electric three-point defense on the other. Boyd hands off to Martin. He had it stripped away. Loose on the deck. Big scramble. Possession arrow will go toward the Owls. Could have very easily seen a travel there as Elijah just keep, seems to keep on rolling and rolling over the court. As you see there, both, both the two fighting for possession on the floor. Michael Forrest makes his first appearance for the Owls. 
will replace Nick Boyd. Forrest, the senior out of Waterhill, Blanchuli High School, averaging 11.1 points a game. Almost three rebounds and two and a half assists. In that quarterfinal matchup, Forrest was a leading scorer for FBU with his 16 points on 5 of 10 shooting. And we should also point out that Walker, in the two games last year, scored 26 and 27 points against FAU. Greenlee lost the handle. Jemison with the steal right as the shot clock expired. Gaines on the run. Finds Johnson for a triple, and he hits. Great vision there as Gaines dribbling the ball up court. Good job there by Johnson to get wide open. Johnson shooting 46% from three, and you saw why. Lead down to three. Greenlee with the drive and the finish. Amazing fake jab one way, dribbling the other. Greenlee, the smallest guy on the court, but it doesn't matter. Able to get the layup to go. Jordan Jelly Walker. There's a near steal by Davis. Jamison recovers. Now Walker finding Gaines. Kicks it outside to Efren Johnson. That three won't go. Kept alive by Jamison over the top. Shot missed by Ty Brewer. And Elijah Martin with the next foul rebound. It's Davis, Greenlee, Martin, Forrest, and Rosado on the floor for the Owls. John L. Davis, another triple, and he hits again. Janelle fill himself early, seven points, two three-pointers to go. 16 to 8, FAU up by 8. Gaines on the drive, left-hand shot, no good. Rebound Rosado off the defensive glass. This is a great start offensively for FAU. Last time out against North Texas, only 50 points scored against a much better defense there in North Texas. Pretty big difference from here tonight. And the Owls won in Denton 50 to 46 in their last game, and they really beat the Mean Green at their own game. Tough physical basketball. Rosado backing in against Jemison, and we have a whistle and a foul called against Trey Jemison. That's his first. John L. Davis, who came in after Brandon Weatherspoon took a shot in the face. Has hit a couple of triples, Jacob, so Mr. Instant offense for the Owls. Yeah, we can see another screen there set by Rosado getting, getting Janelle Davis there wide open for the three. FAU's hitting UAB with their own game. Now, FAU's not afraid to let it go from three, but UAB is definitely more known as a three-point shoot, shooting team of the two schools. Rosado off the inbound. Well, Darius Brewer, number two into the game, along with Javian Davis for UAB. Here's a steal by Lovin. On the drive, Gaines was tied up. Had his shot blocked by Davis and picked up by J Jalen Gaffney. Davis nearly had turned it over. Rosado on the drive. Kick out to Gaffney. Rosado down low with the underhand layup. There we go by Rosado. Earlier on, was called a three-second violation. This time, Lecton goes to the basket with the offhand getting it to go. Ten-point lead for the Owls. So far, this has been the exactly quick-paced game we expect. Two very high-scoring teams here. Davis down low, spinning jumper over Rosado is good. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Back near defender down, loins of sleep, been able to hit the fadeaway jump shot. Davion Davis, 6'9", redshirt junior from Canton, Mississippi. Elijah Martin, Gaffney in the corner, triple on the way, skims off the iron. Ephraim Johnson with the rebound. Crowd tonight here at the borough. Kind of wish this game was next week, Jake, but all the students are back. Oh, yeah. The spring semester, everybody coming back for school. We saw how it looks here against FGCU about a month ago. Davis gets the roll, so two quick buckets for JV on Davis. Both teams here playing a 2 3 zone as the Blazers now in a three quarter press. FU primarily plays man, but occasionally we'll see him go to a zone. Forrest bounce pass Davis with the triple, not this time. That was a beautiful between the legs pass. Got the defender up in the air. So now just not able to get it to fly. Johnson on the drive, and we have a blocking foul call on Janelle Davis. Yeah, Janelle never got his feet set. Ephraim Johnson at the strike. 6'4 freshman from Huntsville, Alabama. Johnson of the season had a pretty good attempt from the free throw line. 83% is good for fourth on the team. 
trying to cut the lead back down to four. Can't do it. Long rebound out to Martin. We have about halfway through the first half here, and this is the lineup you'd like to see a lot from Dusty May. You've got four guards on the court, your best scorers, as well as the big man, Vlad Golden down low. Davis on the handoff to Martin. Around the golden screen. Nowhere to go for Elijah. Gaffney with seven to shoot. Forrest penetrates. Leans in with the right hand off the glass. Won't go. Davis clears the rebound. And we have a foul on Michael Forrest. Good job there by Forrest following a shot. Well, I think you were not going to get the ball back in this possession. We'll earn them another one, especially down the line. First on Michael. And the Blazers with another chance to cut into that five-point lead. Gaines bounces down low to Davis. Maybe on Davis, now working against Golden. Davis flips it up with the right hand, counted, and won. We've seen this a few times now so far from Davis. Last time against Rosado, back him down, let him go to the fadeaway on baseline. This time, turning back towards the basket and getting the Adelaide to go. And just as quickly, Golden comes out of the game. 7-1 Russian, he, he's got skills. He can play this game, but he has a tendency to commit fouls, particularly early in the game, and that's limited both his time on the court and his effectiveness. Yeah, you see as he comes out there, Dusty May stopping him to talk. Got a lot of frustration for Dusty as again he has takes big man out due to a foul. Davis, who averages seven points a game, has seven already in this game. Because uh, K.J. Buffin has two early fouls for the Blazers, so Davis getting some of those minutes. Lead is down to two. Rosado in the high post. Davis. Fires up the shot. That won't go. The rebound. Coming down to Ladarius Brewer of UAB. Blazers with a chance to tie or take the lead. Davis backing in on Rosado. Can't hit the shot. Martin with the rebound. Big man getting the ball there again. He's changed his approach every time he's gone the ball down the post. Davis was knocked to the floor. No call. As he fired it up at the rim. Loving on the drive. He had a shot blocked. Clean block, says the official. A lot of contact one way, but good job by the Owls get back on defense. FAU trying to stop an 8-0 run by the Blazers. It was 18-8. It's now 18-16. Elijah Martin yet to get going in this game. Forrest, corner triple, skims off the iron. Owls have had a lid on the basket last three minutes. 0-6 in their last six shots. Gaines on the drive under good defensive pressure and a foul on the rebound. That might go against Davis. Yeah, it looks like he's just a little aggressive there on the rebound there by Davis, picking up his first foul. Avion Davis gets his first. And the Owls, after a good start offensively, have gone cold a bit. Good to see Brandon Weathers coming back out here after taking early shots in the face. Good to see that he's all right. And Nick Boyd back in as well for the Owls. Greenlee under pressure, got it to Forrest, finds Boyd, thought about a three. Greenlee, a little shake and bake, and the leaner in the lane off the glass and in. Great job there again. Doesn't have the size advantage, but doesn't matter. Getting that floater just to go right over the top of the big man. I will lead back up to four. This is Ladarius Brewer with a triple and he hits. Great shot there. Early in the possession there. FAU fell back that time back into their man-to-man -man defense. That's what you'll see him primarily run. But the three-point shot, three shot able to drop. FAU's hit just one of their last seven field goals. The Greenlee basket broken 0 for 6 streak. Rosado finds Nick Boyd all alone. Can't hit the triple. Rebound touched out of bounds by Weatherspoon. You'd be lucky that one didn't go. Every single person at the UAB bench was standing up screaming for somebody to come over. Ty Brewer back in wearing number 15. So both Brewer brothers on the court. Ty wearing number 15, Ladarius wearing number two. Here's the old-fashioned weave trying to free up Jelly Walker. Yeah, Jelly hasn't gotten anything to go so far. 0-3 from 3. 
Ty Walker passed up a shot on the baseline and then threw it into the hands of Greenlee. Greenlee to Forrest. Boyd. Weatherspoon. Triple. No. Boyd had it momentarily. Picked up by Davis. Walker on the drive. And he is blocked by Weatherspoon. But a foul call. Oh, boy. I don't know about that. And I think the rest of the stadium agrees with me on that. There might have, must have had to be some contact there lower. So Lodge got all ball on that one. Well, it is what the official is indicating. A foul with the body. I don't know, man. Not a lot of contact there. We've seen some a little bit heavier stuff going not called so far. A little bit of hand there on the body, but not enough for me to go up the call. Yeah. Totally clean up top, but the official said foul. And that's what we play by. Yeah, I think that comes down to the size differential there. Walker, six foot, 170 pounds. Going against the taller defender. Any sort of contact's gonna throw him off there. First point for Walker. 11 and a half minutes into the game. Yeah, I guess from that angle you see a little bit more, a little more contact there on the waist. Still I'm not sure if that's a foul call. Two free throws for Jelly Walker, averaging 25.2 points a game. Tops in the country on a per game basis. And a 91% free throw shooter, and UAB has the lead at 21 20. Weatherspoon's three skims off the iron. And here come the Blazers again. Owls have gone cold on offense. Walker with the pull up. 18 footer is short. Not sure if Greenlee got a deflection on that or not. You does seem you gotta be happy with how the team is defending Walker so far. Hasn't given him any clean looks at the basket. Eight minutes to go, first half. Nick Boy. Going in on the big, and Davis blocked the shot. We have a timeout on the court. 7.51 left to they've had so far. Winning the conference last year, going on into the national tournament. 12-2 start of the season. Pretty good. Owls will inbound on the baseline as we return to play. Boyd looking to get it in. Like to Rosado. 10 to shoot. Nellie Davis drives it to the baseline. Reverse layup is good. He's been full throttle so far to start off the game. Nine points leading the Owls in scoring on his two of six shooting. Sorry, his three of six shooting. And FAU regains the lead by a point. For Darius Brewer. Ty Brewer. Pull up jumper. That won't go. Elijah Martin comes away with the rebound. Good rebound there by Elijah. He's pushing it forward to Rosado. As it falls off his leg. Good rim run by Rosado, but a great play by Walker to knock it off his leg for a turnover. I'd like to see Elijah be a little more aggressive here on the offensive end. Has not put up a shot yet so far in the game. Martin does, however, have five rebounds, all as a defensive end. Captain Johnson guarded by Greenlee. Walker. Walker using the screen, finds Davis down low. He can't finish. Rebound off the head. Oh, wow, it looked like it went off the head of uh, Ty Brewer, but the officials say it belongs to UAB. We've seen a lot of work here by Davis, the UAB. Not able to get anything go so far for Walker. Has to be the ball go out of bounds. Yeah, it looks like it did just hit off the shoulder off of FAU. Walker with a tough three out of the corner with Elijah Martin's hand right in his grill. Yeah, he may have started 0 4 3 from the three-point line, but he wasn't going to be held forever. Deflection by Ladarius Brewer, and Martin bangs it off his head, and the Owls will keep it. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Falling out of bounds, throw it right back off your defender's head. Trey Jemison back in, replacing Davis. JV on Davis leaving with seven points, very effective off the UAB bench. Blazers by two, as we hit six and a half to go in the first half. Boyd left alone for a three, and he hits his second of the night. Good job by Nick Boyd. Defense falls asleep there. A little beyond the arc, too, getting it to go, restoring the FAU lead. Owls up by one. Ty Brewer feeds Jemison. Jemison backs in on Rosado. Rosado got a little piece of it, but still muscled up and in by Jemison. 
Biggs have been putting in a lot of work so far. Jemison there, his fifth point of the ball game. As Davis comes out, gets a little bit of a breather. Davis. Greenlee over there, over here screaming for the ball. Greenlee, Martin, Boyd. Boyd fires another triple, not this time. Rosado trying to keep it alive and does to Brian Greenlee. Fresh shot clock for the Owls. Boyd on the drive, acrobatic shot won't go, but a great play by Rosado to lay it off the glass. Second chance opportunities are going to be huge here for FAU. Not a lot to get between the two teams. Especially if both teams, top score, not able to get it go. Someone's got to find a way to light it up. Walker with a long three won't go. Jemison with a long rebound, and we're going to stay at this end of the court. Foul will go against FAU. Nick Boyd picks up the person. I think he's done a good job at frustrating Walker so far as you see him walk back towards his bench. A lot of frustration by him so far as he's not been able to get a lot to fly. Walker one for five from the field, one of four from three in 11 minutes of play. Number three, Taven Lovett back in for UAB. And Isaiah Gaines off the FAU bench, seeing his first action tonight. IG, 6'8 sophomore from Pensacola, averaging a little over three points and two and a half rebounds a game. Yeah, Gaines hasn't got a lot of work so far this year, but when he's come in, he, at the very least, he's provided a lot of energy for this Owls team. Jemison hits the first free throw. Six points for Trey Jemison, 6'11 senior from right in Birmingham, Alabama. Gets them both. He's got seven. And it's a one-point lead again for UAB as we seesaw back and forth. Davis hits Gaines on the baseline. Greenlee backs out. That's a triple that won't go. Darius Brewer with the defensive rebound. Not, not a great shot there by Greenlee. Had two defenders on you early on in the shot clock. Walker in trouble. Had it stripped away by Davis. Stolen by Martin. Gaines takes it all the way in. Cannot finish. And we have basket interference. Yes. Yeah, I was about to say, look at the ball was still there. Of course, Jemison's going to try and plead his case. But good job by Gaines there. Opening himself up for the pass. Able to get the layup up for the goaltending. He really wanted to slam that one down, just didn't get it quite enough up in the air. The ball looked like it was still on the rim, so it's 29-28 FAU as Gaines drives, count it, and a foul. Oh, that's pretty. Contact up in the air, changing his angle, able to get it to drop. See the replay here, Gaines driving in, takes it off the right hand, still gets it to go. Yeah, at that point, you've either got to let him go, or you got to make sure he doesn't get the shot up. Touching him on the arm isn't going to do very much. Yeah, he's done a great job there. Reposition his arm. Get the underhanded layup to go. Three-point play for Eric Gaines. And Dusty May's team down by two again. Roller coaster first half here in Boca Raton tonight. Greenlee finds Davis. Feeds Gaines. Has to kick it back out to Boyd. Still 13 to shoot. Boyd asking for a game screen. Well, has a double team. Five to shoot. Greenlee has to force it up over Walker. That's a wild shot that doesn't draw iron. And no, not to fault Greenlee there. The Owls just got too deep in the possession. We're seeing strong defense like we did last time out for FAU against North Texas. UAB so far, they've been trapping immediately across the half court line. I think he's had an opportunity to cross court with a long pass, but haven't looked to do so so far. Deflection by Greenlee, steal by Martin, bounces to Boyd. The reverse won't go. Nellie Davis lays it back in. So now already 11 points so far. Good job following the rebound there, putting it up. Tie ball game now at 31. Biggest lead for FAU was 10 at 18 to 8. UAB has bounced back. with Darius Brewer with a triple. Quick three there in transition. Three-pointers have finally started to fly here in the later half of the first half. Three-point lead for the Blazers. Davis with a long three. Back iron. Tipped out by Gaines. Recovered by Davis. That cross-court pass as the three-pointer is up and no good. That cross-court pass has been there the entire first half so far for FAU. 
Isaiah Gaines again doing a great job keeping that ball alive on the offensive glass. Davis spins into the lane, gets contact, and will shoot two. Good job by Davis not picking up that pivot foot. And UAB also received some votes there in the coaches' yeah, poll. They did. And they are, uh, again, a team that's won an awful lot of ball games the past couple of years. Andy Kennedy said 12 win, 12 20 win seasons in the last 15 years between Ole Miss and here at UAB. Davis knocks the first down and makes them both. 13 points for John L. Davis. He's had to carry the way. Elijah Martin still not able to get anything to go. 0 of 1. Michael Forrest also on the floor now, not able to get anything so far. Janelle Davis has been leading the way. Gaines, good feed down low and an easy layup by Javion Davis. Javion Davis had himself a great game. All of his points so far from down low. Good job getting open and going to work once he gets the ball down there. Nine points for Javion Davis. Here's Gaffney. Now Forrest. Rosado backing down against Davis. Rosado with the pump fake, doesn't have anything. Forrest from three. Does not get the roll. They able to get the friendly bounce there. Again, UAB trapping as soon as the ball comes across half court. The guards have not had a good time for FAU so far. FAU just four of 16 from three-point land. Lovin feeds Walker. Kelly Walker draws a double team. Lovin drives in on Martin, the six to shoot. Lovin fires from 10 feet. Off the back glass, and Elijah Martin clearing the defensive rebound. Well, Elijah's been very active on the board. Seventh rebound so far today. Davis into the lane. Ducks under and hits. Absolutely a fantastic start so far by both Davises on these two teams. Janelle now 13 points, 4 of 7. Has got it done from beyond the arc, 2 of 3. Has got it done from the free throw line, 3 of 4. And now getting it done at the rim. One point lead again. Lovin beats the Darius Brewer. Brewer rises up for a three and hits. Yeah, this Blazers team can catch fire at any point from three-point range. Subset still only seen one so far by Walker, but the entire team can shoot it. Darius Brewer shooting well over 30% from three. Here's John L. Stay hot, young fella. Why not? Gets an opportunity. Now 15 points from Janelle, his third three-pointer of the game. Tremendous first half for the young man they call Nelly out of Gary, Indiana. One point lead as we're under a minute to go here in the first half. All alone, Lovin missed the bunny. Two lapses there. One defensive lapse, and then as the lay was no good, an offensive lapse. Rosado in the low post. Faces up against Ladarius. The reverse won't go. Darius Brewer with the rebound, finds Gaines. Gaines off balance, had to just flip it up at the rim and missed everything. Janelle yeah. pulled the chair on him. Gaffney to Martin, count it, and a foul. What a slam there by Elijah. As the crowd erupts behind us, you can keep him quiet, but not quiet for long. Incredible finish there by Elijah Martin. Taking the contact from Ladarius Walker and a great look by Gaffney. Put him on a poster. He knew it as soon as he made it in two. Tapping the head on the way down. That is incredible. Elijah Martin's first basket of the game, and it comes in spectacular fashion. Mike Forrest coming out of the game. Brian Greenley back in for defensive purposes. Is UAB can play for the last shot if they so desire with 21.1 on the clock. All right, completing the three-point play. And the Owls back up by two. Shot clock is off. Nine seconds to go first half. Gaines gets the Davis screen. Gaines driving into the plane, rises up, hits it, and one. Good answer there by Gaines. Saw the dribble handoff there. Walker not letting take the last shot, trusting his front court guard mate. He's able to get it go. Driving past Greenlee. The floater is up, and Rosado coming up with the body contact. 
getting it to drop. I'm not saying there wasn't contact, but we've seen a ton of games in Conference USA where after the shot's released, they don't call something like that. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's a foul on Rosado. And chance for the lead for UAB as we go to halftime. And we'll stay tied at 41. Martin with the desperation shot at the buzzer won't go. And perhaps fittingly, these two undefeated get ready for the second half. FAU will have the basketball as you look at the numbers from the first half. And, of course, the bench points for FAU and a lot of those 18 of the 27 from John L. Davis. Yeah, those first half stats are very similar to what these teams have looked like all season long. Hard to separate the two teams. Buffin blocked by Golden, blocked by Golden again. Good job there by Golden. Had to come out of the first half because of the foul trouble. Good job there getting the block without fouling. Greenlee hands to Boyd. Boyd, who we featured at halftime, had six points in the first half. All on three-pointers. Weatherspoon with the offensive rebound draws a foul off the Golden miss. Good job there by Weatherspoon following the miss from Vlad Golden. Going to reward him with a couple free throws here. And that foul will be the third. On Buffett. And a response to that looks like he's going to be coming out of the ball game. Weatherspoon will shoot a pair. In the first half, FAU was 5 of 17 from 3. Last year against UAB in the two games, the Owls were a combined 15 of 52 from outside the arc at 28%. They're, they're going to have to do better than that to keep up scoring-wise with this high-powered UAB team. Brandon Weatherspoon's free throw troubles continue. Hits the second. His first point of the night. He's been a little iffy at the line so far this season, but the second free throw does give the Owls the one-point lead. Gaines. Got Weatherspoon to back off, and Gaines drills the triple. Gaines there, his third shot going, his first three-pointer here in the second half. Everybody's been getting it going so far for the Blazers, except for their main man, Walker. Well, the Owls have done a good job on Walker. We'll see if they can continue that in the second half. But the other guys for UAB have more than picked up the slack. Boyd gets the golden screen. Nick on the penetration. Flips it up with the left hand. Won't go. And a rebounding foul. It'll go, I think, against Ladarius Brewer. And it does. That's his third. We see Gaines here taking on Weatherspoon between the legs, step back, getting it to go from three. UAB now six of 11 from three point land. Quick triggering to Boyd. Nick cut off at the elbow. Weatherspoon on the drive. Greenlee. Really double team tries to split it. Golden fires from the foul line and hits. Well, that's a rare occurrence. You rarely see the big man anywhere else other than under the basket where he's very effective. But the big man with a soft touch. Good job by Greenlee there breaking through the double team. We've seen a lot of traps so far on defense by UAB. Walker on the drive blocked and a goaltend against Golden. Yeah, if Walker's being driven off the three point line, he's going to find his point somewhere else. He got around Greenlee and it came off the glass and then Golden slapped it away. Walker's first field goal as we have a foul in the backcourt on the press. And that's going to go against uh, Ty Brewer. First on Ty. Three early fouls here from UAB. Had the same situation in the first half. Blazers by two early here in the second half. Frank Fork, Jacob Kelly with you tonight on ESPN+. Plus. Greenlee penetrates foul line and fires. Won't go. Golden with the offensive rebound, and he scores it. Well, as soon as he gets down, the ball really seems to look up and put the ball up. Didn't even have to leave his feet there to get the layup in. In the first half, we had 12 lead changes and five ties. Tells you how close this game has been, and it's still that way. Gaines kicks it off there from Johnson. Johnson tries to duck in with a one-hander off the glass. 
Great job there. A little acrobatic finish there by Johnson. Six points for it from Johnson. UAB back up by two. Weatherspoon to the lane. Finds Gaffney open for a triple. And hits. Great kick by Weatherspoon. Has been putting it in terms of points there. Good job getting in the middle of the paint, making a good decision. Kick it out. Good three there by Gaffney. Another lead change. FAU up one. Well, this game so far has been living up to its advertising. A couple of really good teams. Gaines tried to dump it down low to Jemison, who wasn't looking. Boyd comes away on the steal. Boyd taking it all the way and in. Even with a little bit of contact there, Nick Boyd able to get it go in transition on three UAV men. Jelly Walker. Guarded closely by Greenlee. Walker cut off at the baseline. Good defense. Ty Brewer drains a two from the corner. It's exactly what this game has been chalked up to be. Back and forth offense. Two high scoring teams here. Clearly the two best teams in Conference USA. Gaffney bounces to Golden, who elevates and dominates. The big man slam. That's what we know from him. A lot of his work from underneath has had some issues this year finishing those dunks, but a sure finish there. Three quick baskets in the second half for Vlad Golden. Owls up 53-50. Walker, this time guarded by Boyd. Walker, step back, triple, on the way, in the hoop. Oh, that's pretty. The undersized guard there fade away. That ball nearly touched the ceiling. Walker with 10, and we're tied at 53. Weatherspoon lock and load on a triple. That's no good. Walker with the rebound. And we have a whistle away from the ball, and it looks like Weatherspoon and Ty Brewer were battling running up court, and I think the foul's going to go on Spoon. We have a timeout. 15:36 left to go in the ball. Yeah, he had an incredible career. Had a chance to walk past him there during halftime. Not many people I can say that I have to look up to walk past. Him. He was a special player. Back to action. On the drive, shot is badly missed, and Davis and Buffin tie it up on the jump ball as Gaines badly missed on the drive. The possession belongs to FAU. Incredible so far how close these teams are. 53 53, both shooting 47%, both lighting it up from three. Gaffney left alone. He'll try from three off the back iron. Jelly Walker with the rebound. Walker gets around Gaffney. Dishes off Davis for the slam. Great vision there by Walker. Driving into the basket. Everybody puts full attention on him. Everybody knows he's a leading scorer in NCAA. Good job to dish it there to Davis for the slam. Martin. Only three points tonight. Does have eight rebounds to lead all rebounders, but just hasn't had many looks offensively. Now Greenlee finds Davis. Davis with the hesitation and the drive. Corner Gaffney. Six to shoot. Davis, head fake, fires it on the run and hits it to beat the shot clock. If you're hot, you're hot. Everything starts falling so far for Davis so far. 20 points, his season high. He's got it done from three. He's got a dunk underneath. And then a runner at the shot clock. Why not? Another tie, 55 all. Walker draws a double team. Davis finds Johnson. Pull up at the elbow when he hits. That's a fundamental shot, getting in the corner there, dribbling back into the elbow. Wide open mid-range jump shot there to take the lead back. He lost art of the mid-range jumper. Can't say you've seen many tonight. Now look around college basketball, you don't see a ton of them. UAB back up by two. Greenlee. Gaffney, now Davis. 20 points for John L tonight. Masato bumped on the drive, nearly got it to fall. Davis picking up the foul. Good. Maybe on Davis, his second. Good think there on the dribble handoff. The see Rosado taking it in, taking the contact. Just the same on one side. Everyone's been paying a lot of attention to Walker. Now Janelle Davis, how hot he's been. Expecting the handoff there for wide open three. Good think there by Rosado. Calling that a non-shooting foul, which you would never see that in the NBA. But this is, of course, college basketball. Off the inbounds, Mike Forrest back into the game for the Owls. He has yet to get 
rolling offensively tonight, too. Uses the Rosado pick. Davis. Forrest fires a corner triple. A little bit short. Darius Brewer with the rebound. Here comes Walker on the run. Walker, pull up, triple. Oh. Jelly Walker with the three-pointer. He's up to 13 points, just like that. He's been incredible this game. You just hear the ooh from the crowd as he gets another three-pointer to drop. Mike Forrest had it roll out in the turnaround jumper from five feet away. Yeah, Forrest and Martin haven't had a lot going. Walker forced up a three. That won't go. And Rosado clears off the rebound. Between Martin and Forrest, only three points combined one of seven shooting. Forrest is a guy that has some good looks. You see the foul there. Forrest loves getting the ball in the corner there. Getting the three pointers up, but hasn't got anything to fall so far. That's the fourth foul on Ladarius Brewer. Remember Jelly Walker, three pointer. His nickname is Jelly, but if uh, it was peanut butter, he'd be smooth. Oh, he is smooth. He makes it look so effortless, pulling up three. Something you see a lot in street ball, he's doing it here on the big stage. Forrest finds Martin. Cut off on the baseline. Forrest, Gaffney. Davis. Holding screens. Gaffney again, six to shoot. Gaffney almost turned it over, finds Golden, who lost the handle. Did Forrest get it up in time? He did not. The great defense on the perimeter here by UAB. Not jumping for the pump fakes, getting their hand in the passing lanes. Good job there forcing the shot clock violation. So a 5-0 run has UAB up by five. Greenlee back in, Gaffney out. This matches UAB's, I'm sorry, Jacob, UAB's largest lead is five points. Yeah, they've been higher in the second half. Eight of ten their last ten shots. I think it hasn't got anything to drop over the last two minutes. That's from Johnson. Rises up over Forrest. That rims out. And a foul on the rebound. And they say, we're going to stay at this end of the court. Goes on FAU. Goes the foul. Brian Greenley picks up the personal. His first. Now this is a this is a spot where FAU's got to be careful and not let the game get away from them here. Coming up on the midpoint of the second half. Buffin. Spins in over Davis, shot it short, and Davis with the rebound. Good defense by Nelly. Davis taking it all the way, challenges the other Davis. Can't get it to fall. Johnson. And Vlad Golden turned an ankle. He's back up on his feet, but he's wincing in pain. Davis spins into the lane and draws a foul. Yeah, Vlad there clearly in a lot of pain. Push just got caught underneath him there on the floor. Gainesville against UF. And then for the bench points, it makes a lot of sense. The two men you saw there walking out, Forrest and Martin, have came off the bench a lot this season. It's a very un untraditional approach here for Dusty May. Javion Davis will shoot a pair. Rattles the first one in for his 12th point of the night, and that's the biggest UAB lead. UAB shooting 8 of 14 here in the second half, including 3 of 5 from three-point range. And that's the biggest Blazer lead at 7. This is an uh, important part of the game for FAU. They can't afford to fall behind by much more. Yeah, they had a drought now, almost three minutes without a bucket. Something's got to start coming here. About halfway through here, second half of play. Greenlee on the crossover. Finds Davis for a corner triple. That's good. He's the one that won constant tonight. 23 points now from Davis. Elijah Martin hasn't got to get it going. Michael Forrest hasn't got to get it going. But their other guard has. That stops a seven-point FAU run near steal by Davis. Walker off the floor. Pulls up at the foul line. Doesn't hit it. Greenlee with the defensive rebound. Martin Dinelli. Davis trying to back in against Jelly Walker, who's 5'11". Davis spins off the glass, count it, and a foul. Clear size disadvantage there. Dendell's been on fire today. Why not keep going to him? 
He's been doing it all types of ways. Three-pointer on the previous possession. Backing down his defender. Gave the and one to go. We see him backing down Walker. Spinning back to his favorite right hand off glass. And we'll have a free throw now to go. Two fouls on Walker. Eric Gaines will replace Walker in the lineup. Davis completes the three-point play. He's got 26. Absolutely electric so far tonight. 9 of 13, 4 of 5 from 3, 4 of 5 from the free throw line. These guys can't miss. Gaines. Johnson. Gaines guarded by the big golden, waving everybody out of the way. Just too quick for Vlad. Gaines lays it up and in. Yeah, that's what's going to happen there. Golden looks to still be in a little bit of pain from the ankle injury. Doesn't mean I like him to keep him in the ball game. But that's going to have, happen every single time you have a guard going against a seven footer. Leads back up to three after the Owls have cut it to one. Greenlee trying to tie it and does. That's exactly what we said we needed. After you had that long drought, three minute drought, and now three possessions in a row with three points coming away each time. Tied at 64. Johnson. Ducks in at the foul line. The leaner won't go. Davis rebounds. Affected by Golden. Next rebound. Count it. And one for Buffin. That's what we've seen from Golden. His first two fouls in that same exact situation. His arms coming down onto the defender. First two attempts. Did a great job of standing upright. That time. We see there Davis missing, rebound comes down, and then second chance points there as Vlad Golden picks up another foul. Good things happen when you go to the bucket. That's where the points are. KJ Buffin, that was his first basket of the night, first points of the night. He completes the three-point play. Blazers back up by three as we go back and forth. 15 lead changes in the game. Martin hits a triple. He's much needed. That thing is going to come back into his ball game. Ties the game back up here. His shots have been electric. I've gone in the three pointer there and then the ferocious slam just at the end of the first half. Not only 15 lead changes, but now 11 ties. Gaines waving traffic around. Buffin squares up against Davis, runs him over, and they're going to call a block. That's a very close call there. Really could have gone either way. I thought Janelle got his feet over. See on the replay here, driving right. Not a lot of contact in the first place. His feet were moving still a little bit, but it didn't even look like they had a lot of contact in the first place. And, and just so we're clear, it, it's okay if your feet are moving if you're staying in front of somebody. There's no rule that says your feet have to be set. The, the, the offensive player can't go through you, but when you're moving laterally like that, that's when the officials look to get your, your feet set. Walker, pump fake, frees himself up for the two, can't hit it. Davis with the rebound, and we're going to stay here with a rebounding foul against FAU. It's going to go on Mike Forrest. Yeah, we see the shot go up. It looks like both both players there fighting. Like yeah, but Mike, Mike undercut there. him a little bit, and that's yeah. a good call. Yeah, Buffin there. He did have he did have the space. Hard contact there on the floor, though. Three point lead for the Blazers. Again, 15 lead changes, 11 ties in this game. We've been riding the roller coaster all night. Hope you've enjoyed this game. And everything you could have asked for between these two. Buffin pulls up in the paint and drew a foul. Three quick defensive fouls here. He's getting a little chippy here between the two teams. And a technical foul on UAB. Not sure which player it's going to go on. And the Owls trying to pump up this crowd. Yeah, it looks like they have a few words to say between each other. But Dave is there extending the arm, pushing. can't do that. Yeah, I think JV on Davis is the one they teed up.
Yeah, it's going to be on Davis. So we're going to have free throws on both sides here. Yeah. So two free throws for each team. Buffin for the shooting foul. He'll get two at the strike. The technical on Davis will allow FAU to shoot a pair of free throws, and FAU will get the ball. And two misses for K.J. Buffin. Buffin's struggles have continued. Only three points so far today, 105 shooting. Now FAU with two free throws can take the lead, and will be getting possession after this. Tied at 67. Here's Michael Forrest, the veteran, averaging 11 and a half a game. That's Mike's first point tonight. And of course, in college basketball, technicals count as personal. So Davis for UAB now has three fouls as Forrest hits both, and the Owls will get the basketball as well. When you're a shooter like Mike Forrest is, likes to get a lot in the corner. Sometimes you just need to see something go through. Those two free throws going through might be a catalyst for Forrest here for the rest of the night. And I, I'll tell you this, you know, during warm-ups, Brandon Weatherspoon was getting into it a little bit with one of the UAB players. I don't recall who, but they were kind of going back and forth at each other. So you knew this was going to be an intense game before they even tipped the ball off. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows what this means. It, it, the conference play just opened up here. Third play, third, third conference game for FAU. Four for UAB. First and second. First place on the line. No basket. Foul on the floor. Called by our official Chase Shaw. That'll go on Jemison. Let's see Michael this. driving in there. Left. Splitting the fence. Didn't put it back on the deck there. Not quite sure why that wasn't called an and one. So Forrest shooting one and one as the Owls are in the bonus. Nine team fouls in this half against UAB. Well, Darius Brewer back in with his four fouls in the UAB lineup. Four free throws in a row for Michael Forrest. And the Owls back on top by four. It's been a game of runs. UAB was eight of 10. Now FAU on a 7-0 run hit each of their last four shots. Walker, guarded by Martin. Gets the Jemison screen. Walker has to give it up. Gaines pump fakes down low for Buffin tipped away. It's FAU basketball. Great defensive possession there by FAU, staying on top of the guards up top, forcing the errant pass. Eight twenty to go in this one. Might be the mid-major game of the night. We talked about it in our open tonight. Had a couple of national basketball writers tweeting about this game saying you got to see it. Martin with the runner doesn't get the roll. Rosado with the offensive rebound. Great put back there by Rosado. How about you, Frank? But it feels like every possession, it feels like the tide of the game is switching. FAU now on a 9-0 run, five of, five of their last six. He loves a three-point shot, but he's more than just a three-point shooter. He's used that athleticism. He might be a little undersized, but use that to his advantage. Get past his defender. The Owls have done a pretty decent job on him tonight. He's four out of 12 from the field, three out of eight from three. But he can go off at any time. Gaines, Buffett, feeds it down low. Jemison lays it in as he had Forrest locked out on his hip. Yeah, good job there by Jemison, using his size advantage, keeping Forrest under the basket, an easy layup. Nine points for Jemison. Forrest, double team. Had it deflected by Buffett out of bounds. Owls keep it with 17 to shoot. On the floor. And we which is the goal for both teams this year you're seeing tonight. Yeah, FAU hasn't been able to do that a lot. They've only made the national tournament one or two times in their school's history. Bad turnover there by Elijah Mark. Buffin came up with the steal. 
Gaines driving on Davis. Good defense by Melly, and Walker will reset. Walker looking to hoist up a three. Gaines, he will fire from three. And hit. Good job there, at UAB. Pass the ball back and forth. FAU that time in a zone. Press their guards a lot further up the three point line. It's still a good offense there by UAB. 5 0 run by the Blazers has him back within a point. Greenlee penetrates, lost the handle, loose on the deck, and Greenlee committed the foul. Yeah, FAU a little sloppy there, back to back possessions. Elijah Martin's gift grabbing of a previous possession there, and Greenlee driving into the paint, losing the ball. And I'm going to say this about Andy Kennedy's team they're known for their offense. And they play at such a high pace that, you know, they give up points to the other team when you look at just the raw points allowed. But tonight, they, they forced FAU to take a lot of tough shots. They've gotten their hands on a basketball quite a bit at the defensive end. I've really been impressed with how they play defense tonight, despite the fact that they've given up 73 points. Yeah, everywhere on the floor, they've, they, they play great. On those dribble handouts at FAU, great communication, switching on defense. They're switching on every single screen, and then down low, getting the big man a tough time for FAU. The Walker trying to break the 73 all time. Cannot. Jelly with 14, and we're tied at 73. So a quick run by the Blazers, a 6-0 run, has it back to, to a tie game. There's another steal forced by Jemison's hands. Gaines had it knocked away from behind by Martin, but Davis couldn't keep it in play. And that defense we just saw there from UAB is what a lot we've been seeing throughout the game so far. Overloading one side. That time again in another zone. But trapping the driving the ball handler on one side, forcing him to always the other side of the court, as we see here on the replay, trying to get it down low. John Carl Rosado. Elijah Martin doing a good job getting his hands on it, but ball staying here with UAB. So only nine turnovers for FAU, but two in a row. And a key point here in the ball game. UAB has only seven turnovers. Walker fires the triple. Off the back rim. Gaffney looking to run in the front court. Gives it up to Greenlee. His triple on the way. And in the bucket. Gaffney there. Knew he didn't have a lot of help initially. Just slowed possession down a little bit. Found Greenlee trailing for the wide open three pointer. And FAU up three. Gaines driving on Greenlee. Gaines gets the reverse layup to go. Gaines there with his 15th point of the ball game. Going off glass with the offhand. FAU up one. Martin with a corner three. That rims out. Walker quickly to Gaines. Gaines driving in. Greeley was able to knock it away, but then committed a foul. That's the fourth on Brian Greeley. Yeah, fouls here starting to stack up for both teams. Through with four there and another four. I see here Gaffney in transition, slowing it down a little bit, waiting for his court mates to come up with him. And then hitting Greenlee for the wide open three. Now Brian will come out of the game. Mike Forrest in. And Nick Boyd, whom we haven't seen in a while, will check in for Gaffney. Well, this is up for grabs, this basketball game. And both teams will be shooting free throws from this point out. Next foul for FAU. Next foul for other team is going to be two shots no matter what for the rest of the ball game. There are games, 67% from the line. Missed it, but we're going to have a lane violation. Oh, man. It's a little bit of a lack of discipline here in the last few minutes by FAU. Two turnovers and then a lane violation, something that that can't do. Well, I don't think it was so much the fact that the FAU player leaned over, but he leaned over into the paint, and he was in proximity to the shooter. I think that's what caused the refs to uh, to call it. That spills out, so Gaines does not take advantage of the second opportunity. FAU still has the lead, tenuous as it might be. UAB, they've extended their defense and they've, they've been able to force some turnovers. They've really been attacking the ball handlers early on in the possession here. Davis, who's had quite a night, flips it up, blocked. Both Jemison and Buckham got a hand on it. 
that they was looking for a goaltend that call not forthcoming very easily could have been a goaltending call I'd like to see that back five minutes to play Gaines hits Buffin spinning in the lane with the left hand Great effort there by Buffin. Didn't have it going, going into the paint, spinning back to his left, getting the layup to go. Five points for Buffin, all in the second half, and UAB jumps back into the lead. 16th lead change tonight. Boyd gets to the block and shuffled his feet. Gaines has been coming out quickly as soon as FA has been crossing half court and then just following the ball handler. He's done this the entire second half, and it's been working. He's gotten a few turnovers by FAU. Well, the Owls now with 10 turnovers. They're shooting 48%, as is UAB. UAB's 28 of 58, 9 of 17 from 3. The Owls are 27 for 56, and 10 of 26 from 3. FAU 25th in the country at 9.5 made threes per game, and they have 10 tonight. As you see here, it looks like the refs asking a certain fan to escort themselves out of the stadium. Can't imagine what he said that would have been that bad. 77-76. Lasers lead it by one. FAU showing pressure. Gaines and Walker exchanging passes, and Walker who crosses the timeline. Walker. Around four, the two pointer is good. Such a pretty jump shot there. Stopping on a dime, pulling it up, getting the mid range jump shot to go. And there's a reason he leads the country in scoring. You see another run here UAB 6 0 run over the last 142, and FAU hasn't got a bucket to go in the last two minutes. Golden threw it away. Timeout on the court, 3.59 left to go. UAB with a 79-76 lead here on the road in Boca Raton. Switching on every single dribble handoff, switching on every single screen, always applying pressure at him to not get a wide open lead. And the Owls could use a stop here. Gaines working on Greenlee. Walker, triple on the way, in the hoop. That's exactly what FAU is trying to avoid. Great screen there set by Jemison, allowing Walker to get absolutely wide open. And it's now a 15-3 run. Owls need a basket. They want to stay with UAB. Rosado looking for an outlet. Gaffney, he'll fire a triple. Off the back iron, Martin kept it alive. Rosado with the pump fake in the hoop. Great from there by Elijah Martin. Didn't come down with a rebound, which he's got a lot of tonight. But tapping right down Rosado to get the easy layup. Four point lead for the Blazers. Then he's going to come back. They need more of those second chance opportunities here. UAB's going to try to look to lead the clock. Two score possession here. Every time FAU gets down floor, they're going to need to come in points. Brewer with the corner three. Looked like. Uh, Jemison went over the back of Rosado, but no call. Greenlee able to come away with the basketball. Davis on the penetration. The pump fake and draws the foul. Yeah, a lot of contact there. Good change of pace there by Janelle. Wasn't sure we were going to take the three-pointer. Drives in. Did both guys there on the contact and go to free throw line. Try to put up his 28th point of the ball game. <laughs> Foul on Gaines was his first, team's 10th. So FAU will be shooting two shots the rest of the way with 2.43 to go. And Gaines was going for the ball there. He just got the ball and pretty much everything else too. Janelle here has been the hot hand all night. 9 of 14, and four of his five free throws, four or five will be on the yard. He's gonna be something the Owls have to rely on here at the end of the game. First free throw from Davis is good. Javion Davis, who has 12 points tonight, checks back in to the UAB lineup. Career high, 27 points for Janelle Davis. 
brings both free throws. And we're back to a two-point game. White knuckle time here in Boca. Walker pulls up, fires the three. Front iron no good. Rosado with the rebound as he battled with Davion Davis. Gaffney on the penetration. Just to kick it back out. Davis lock and load. Triple now. Oh man, this place is ready to explode there. With his 31st point, putting FAU back on top. He was wide open. Maybe just a tad out of his range. Games around the screen. Buffett. Brewer down low to Davis. Davis backs in on Rosado. Davis spinning jumper. No. Rebound Martin. Elijah now in double digits rebounding wise. That's his 10th. Good back to back possessions there by Rosado. Being a defensive rebound the previous possession. And doing a good job on Davis who's had a lot of work down on the block. Coming up on a minute and a half to go. Davis in the penetration. Took a little bit of a bump, spins it up off the glass and in. He will not be denied. Gets it down in the paint, trying to find a way to break open. Eventually spins to his right, getting the layup to go. We have a tied ball game here. 119 left to go. And the ball screen, every single dribble handoff, and he has not been stopped. And think about this, too. This is his second season at UAB. He has... A thousand points, and this is 40 over a thousand points, and he's played in his 48th game tonight for UAB. Well, here we go, 82 all. Coming up on a minute to go. Walker takes a look at the shot clock. Walker cut off, and they're going to call travel. He went up and down. He wanted a foul on Davis. The officials disagreed. It was a little bit of contact there, and not enough for the call. That's what, again, that's what we've seen all night along. Aggressive defense here. Greenlee, Janelle, it doesn't matter. We also have Gaffney there ready to go. Keeping him under wraps has been what keeping FAU into this game. You know, I, I have to say, I would have no issue had they called that foul. If they let him play in that situation. Davis spinning into the paint. He draws a foul. He's locked in right now. You can see in his eyes. You know what this means. That his best game here as an owl. You see the replay here. Again, spinning right, getting it to his right, going into the paint. Didn't get that one to drop, but has the opportunity here to take the lead for FAU. He's been a non-stop show here for FAU. Eric Gaines picked up the foul, just his second. Davis gives the owls the lead. Uh, whichever team wins this game, they will have earned it. And they will sleep well tonight. They can get a lot more votes in that USA poll. There's been a lot of energy expended by both teams tonight. 84-82, FAU. Walker on the drive, takes it all away, can't finish. Davis, he does. Good effort there by the big. He's been very efficient down low there. Now six of nine tonight. Got himself a good game. 84 all. About a five second difference on the shot and game clock. Davis isolated. Takes it in on Buffin. Puts it off the glass and in. Very quick time out there by Dusty May. Trying to draw the defense there. Buffin just dapped up John L. Davis in a little show of respect. I mean, that. Uh, it's great to see. The, these two teams have played hard. They've been in each other's faces all game, but it's just been a heck of a basketball game. Gaines will let it roll a bit before he gets to the front court. And he throws it away! Stolen by Golden! UAB's got a foul! And finally Walker able to foul Davis. Two free throws coming. Brutal, brutal turnover there by UAB. Try to dump it down low and nobody there. Black going say, sure, I'll take it. Thank you very much. And now FAU can go up two scores here. We see Gaines. Screen set by Davis. Expected to see Walker continue around that. He was thrown out. He hit the floor. That ball was give wrapped it there. John L will shoot two. Ooh, he got the roll. The crowd had the will that one in a little bit. 
35 for John L. Davis. Make it 36. He's locked in. He's unfazed. Timeout of delete. Potentially icing the game here. Now UAB going to have an opportunity to get another shot up. Six point six to go. Walker puts on the Jets. They'll let him take it all the way to the hoop, and he finishes. FAU's going to have to make some free throws. That took about five seconds off to execute the inbounds pass. UAB will foul right away. Jalen Gaffney can run the baseline. And a steal. They tried to get it into Rosado, but the game ends before they can get a shot up. And FAU hangs on to win. Incredible ball game. 